In this video we're making the tote bag Larissa. The materials you're going to need are listed here but you can also have another look at them in the PDF file. To make the handles we take one of our handles pieces and place a piece of batting in the middle. Then we fold the fabric over the batting along the long edges and press it into place. Now we fold the fabric in half with the batting wedged in between and pin it into place. We sew along both edges of the handles with a wider stitch and repeat these steps for the second handle. Then we pin the two outer top pieces to the top and bottom edges of the bottom piece of the bag. Then we sew along the top and bottom edges.
We now fold the seam allowance towards the top pieces and top stitch. Then we fold the outer back piece in half, right sides facing, and pin it along the side edges. We take the 2.5 by 2.5 inch template, place it on the outer bottom edges of the main back piece and cut a square out on each side. Now we sew along the side edges. Next we place the bottom fold of the bag onto the side seam where we cut out the square of fabric and pin it into place. We then sew across the pinned edges and our main back piece is done for now. Now we iron the interfacing to the back of the lining fabric. Next we pin and sew the batting on top of the interfacing and fabric and sew all the way around the outer edges with a basting stitch. We fold the lining fabric in half, cut out the squares at the bottom side edges and close the side seams.
We are leaving a turning hole in one of the sides, about 5 inches wide. Then we place the bottom fold of the bag onto the side seam where we cut out the square of fabric and pin and sew it into place on both sides. Now we place the handles onto the top edge of the outer bag piece, about 4.5 inches from each side and baste them into place. We put the outer back piece into the inner one and pin them together along the top edge. The handles are in between the inner and outer back pieces. And we sew along the top edge. Then we turn the bag inside out through the turning hole and pin and top stitch along the top edge of the bag.
We can now close the turning hole by hand or with a sewing machine. And then our bag is done! Here it is! It's nice and roomy, so we can also use it as a summer bag or beach bag if you're going to the pool or the beach. And I hope you enjoyed this project! Thank you so much for watching and for sewing with me. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos if you like, and follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to see you over there! See you next time! Bye!